right, what's up, everybody? Um, so Kia tasked me with making a uh, outdoor cat shelter, and uh, we have some straw, and that's gonna go inside. But just want to show you all the materials so that you can make one at home if you wanted to make a you know outdoor cat shelter. You can buy them online; they can be pretty pricey. But uh, these are you know simple things that you probably already have at your house. Uh, 30 gallon bucket there a 20 gallon bucket had to go out and grab a this is just a plastic pot you know just something real simple that we can cut into of course you need lids for both of them uh in the inside we'll put the smaller one in i'll show a little progress of that in a second you're gonna need a hair dryer just to soften up the plastic a knife you can use saw whatever jigsaw whatever you have of course sharpies i have two and then a little styrofoam that'll go on the bottom of this big one uh, and the smaller one will sit on top of that and then you'll line the insides with straw So I'll kind of show you progress along the way, but yeah, this is the beginnings of making a outdoor cat shelter So you're gonna take this first one uh, Take the pot make an outline of it and that's the beginning process for that And now you got your circle you're gonna heat up the plastic and the circle so that it's easier to cut. All right, so got a hole. Excuse the color change. Wanted something that was a little bit bigger. Uh, that one would have been a little tighter in it, not as much space, but um, this one is gonna allow for more insulation with the straw. So now that you got a hole for the inner one, got the hole for the outer one, and the easiest way to do that is just, you know, hold it up against it, make the outline, then cut it out. So you got a hole for both. And now we just cut the bottom of this guy off and we'll put them, put them through. We'll connect them up. All right. Now that we got the bottom cut off, we are going to put this guy in here. And I need two hands for that. So <laughs> give me one second. Okay. So check with the manager. She's good with it. Um, she's cool with it sticking out a little bit like that too. So you can see it goes through like that. So the next step, I gotta take that apart real quick. But uh, the next step is just gonna take some styrofoam and put it on the bottom of the big one. So I gotta take the small one back out, put this one on in there um, and then put the small one back in so that there's just some padding and insulation on the bottom. And then we can stuff the the inside of the smaller one and then all around the edge of this bigger guy all with some straw so cut it. it's a little bit too wide so i'm gonna make it a little bit more narrow and we'll get it in there all right i had to make it a little bit <laughs> a little raggedy there but uh yeah you get the point point. and so now i can put this back in and boom, just like that. So yeah, now we'll have, we'll put some straw all right here, all along, and a little bit of straw inside. You will use both tops still. So you'll take the top one, obviously cover it up. You can put a little bit of straw, but probably not because they're like the same height. And then uh, yeah, put the big one on. And then we're gonna put this outside on uh, probably on the back deck or right next, right next to the back deck outside. All right, so now she is putting in the straw. Straw, right? Yep, straw for strays, hay yep. for horses. Yep, good. So <laughs> she's putting that in on the sides. And yeah, then we'll put the back in and we'll finish it off. Um, try not to put so much on this one side, because we're going to. I know. All right, all right. Let me uh, help her out so we can get this one. No. All right, so. Here is all the hay. Kia's gonna go get a bowl. Straw, this is straw. No, I'm recording. <laughs> but um, we got it on the sides. Got that in there. It's insulated. I may take this down uh, just to secure it, or we can come back with some hot glue and hot glue that. The other thing is, we thought about it kind of a little too late. I may get a GoPro and mount it in one of these corners or mount it here. So it can point out and see, just gotta make sure it has some night vision. And uh, yeah, you can uh, 
see what comes in and out we'll be surprised because we don't know we don't we don't have snakes but uh definitely have a lot of squirrels probably some raccoons or maybe a possum but definitely a lot of stray cats in the neighborhood so we shall see so just food bowl and then put the two tops and that's it we're good to go all right so don't mind the noise in the background but this is it and and uh so we'll just put the covers on i'm super ashy because of all of this <laughs> oh hush Ugh. and bada bing bada right there. that's it all right next stop to the location All right, so now that we're done with the cat shelter, sorry if you can hear the background music. My wife's having a mini rave right now. But uh, yeah, so a few things, a few tips about the cat shelter. So number one, um, make sure that, you know, you're being safe, you know, simple as that, real easy. Like you are gonna use a knife, you may use a jigsaw, whatever the case is. Um, but number two, um, I would, if I had to do it again, um, looking at the plastic pot, it didn't have that much taper, but when you are putting it in the hole, like if you line the, the outside bin based off of the circumference of the inner or the bottom of that pot, it's not gonna work out. So if I had to do it again, I would use the top of the pot to draw my circle and then cut the outline from the top of the pot. And then the uh, inner bin, I would go maybe halfway. So uh, I'll try to use something real quick. Um, if this is your, your pot, um, I would use this as the, the outer one for the outer bin and then maybe midway or for the inner bin, uh, just because there is a slight taper. It's not dramatic, but it was enough to where I had to recut it a few times just to make sure they fit in properly. Um, other than that, it was a great little fun little project. Uh, definitely want to mount a GoPro. I wish I would have thought about that beforehand uh, with some night vision. Um, we are going to check on it and probably tomorrow or maybe in a few days just to kind of see what, what's going on. But if any of y'all try the project, let me know. Uh, you know, send, send us a video. We'd love to see the other little cat projects going on. Uh, and if we have any more projects, we'll definitely make a video of them, record them, and hopefully we can get some animals in there. So, and uh, it's going to be really cold here in Georgia. So it's January 2024. Uh, gonna be super cold this next week. I know not not as cold as other states, but for us, it's super cold. Uh, it's gonna be in the teens like next week, so we just wanted to do something to kind of get the cats, some of the stray cats, uh, out of the the elements, maybe into a little bit warmer uh, shelter. So uh, thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully, it's not too long. And uh, yeah, let us know how how everything goes, how everything looks.